Across our region, there is a growing sense of urgency over what's happening inside classrooms as the number of COVID cases continues to rise. Another good question, are, are you overreacting? And, and, and uh, the, a phrase that I've used is we're trying like heck to meet the moment. In New Jersey, Governor Phil Murphy's administration is giving serious thought to a test and stay model to hopefully reduce the number of students who are exposed to the virus and then forced into mandatory quarantine. That's good news, says Sean Spiller, president of the New Jersey Education Association, the union representing the state's teachers. Uh, we all know that uh, there, there's nothing that beats in-person instruction uh, between an educator and, and a student. Spiller adds even when students are forced into quarantine, technology continues to bridge the remote learning gap. There are a lot more pieces that schools have put into place so that students who are uh, you know, potentially quarantining or out are still getting instruction, still finding ways to engage around topics. Across the Hudson River in New York. We have six confirmed cases. High school social studies teacher Ali Haradopoulos says the city is not working fast enough to clear suspected COVID cases. This is really um, sort of a horrendous nightmare for us to be going through this again. But Mayor Bill de Blasio speaking Monday is still looking at the big picture when it comes to the situation inside schools and stresses the need to keep things in perspective. We have, as of this morning, four schools closed out of 1,600 um, and a positivity level just over 1%. Obviously, uh, compared to a much higher level for the city. City Council Health Committee Chair and newly elected Manhattan Borough President Mark Levine says the CDC approved test and stay protocol is indeed the way to go in New York City. If a child is exposed, they can continue to come as long as they take a negative antigen test every day. New York Governor Kathy Hochul says New York will do what needs to be done to keep students learning in person, period. We are keeping our schools open. Let me repeat that. We are keeping schools open because we're dealing with a very different variant at this time.